Jerome Robinson. Also five All ACC honorees. So he's done a nice job reestablishing some culture in Chestnut Hill. As we are underway, and Belmont controls the tip. It's great to have you with us on the ACC Network. Boston College comes out in man to man. Back door by Scanlon to Kunkel in our first foul of the game. Called by the veteran official Earl Watson. That's going to be on Jay Heath, the freshman out of Washington, D.C., who has excelled thus far for Jim Christian in the backcourt. He's averaging 13 points per game in 30 minutes of action, Mel. And, you know, those numbers, Meter, are key. But for me in this game, and speaking with Coach Jim Christian, I think defense. Uh, that has been the key theme coming into this season. Uh, they're going to be challenged today, as we've talked about. Belmont, one of the better offensive teams, uh, not just in the OVC, but in the country. That right there, though, is going to be key. How they defend pick and rolls and then backdoor cuts. Belmont does an excellent job setting up their cuts. And the BC's starting five with Jared Hamilton. His brother, Jarius, will not play today due to patella tendonitis. Thornton and Heath in the backcourt with Mitchell and Popovich up front. Every coach around the conference loves Stefan Mitchell because he does all the little things you're looking for, including rebounding and playing defense. And Mitchell's offense has been slow to develop, but I think Jim Christian is still happy with what he's seen. He's one of the best rebounders, not just in the ACC, but in the country. Coming off a double-double the last time out for Boston College. Uh, it seems like he goes after every rebound on the offensive and defensive glass. Jay Heath trying to go to Steph Mitchell on the loose ball by Popovich, but right in the hands of Murphy. Michael Benkert for three. They put up 38 threes on Monday against Sanford, a game they won 95 to 63. They made 16 of them a prolific three-point shooting squad. And there's that backcourt of Murphy and Kunkel and Bankert with Tyler Scanlon, the BU transfer, and Seth Adelsberger starting for the suspended thus far, Nick Musinski. Yeah, and you talked about it. They get up a lot of threes. Transition defense uh, in particular must be on point today for Boston College. Speaking with Coach Jim Christian this morning at shoot-around, he said that's key number one. So Nick Popovich now 29 points shy of 1,000 in his career, he'll be the 45th BC player to enter that selective club. The guy I'm sitting next to is part of it, Malcolm Huckabee. And a steal by Popovich. Good pass to Jared Hamilton with a nice underneath lay-in. Well, on the other side for Belmont, key for them, transition defense. Boston College early on in the season, three games in, they've done a great job getting out in transition, but it all starts with their defense. Banker swings it to Tyler Scanlon. And he hits the three. So Scanlon had 1,000 plus career points playing down the road just five minutes away, Boston University. And that's the first time they brought in a grad transfer. Well, you can't ask, though, for a better situation or a better offensive possession right there. That was a clinic. Dribble penetration, collapsed the defense, and then a beautiful kick out pass to a wide open Scanlon. They're really going to look for Scanlon for a majority of their offense as Popovich counters with a three pointer. And the big fella can do that, even though he's 6'11", he's got nice range. He's now 5 for 10 on three-point attempts. Mitchell on Grayson Murphy. You like that matchup? That is a really, <laughs> that's going to be a key matchup with those guys. And now it's time for Food Lions Food for Thoughts. BC's defense, just saw it moments ago, forcing a turnover. 54 points per game. The thing that really jumps out, Malcolm, turnovers first forced at 22 per game. And what jumps out at me, 3-0, and speaking with Coach Christian, he said, look, the reason why we are 3-0 and is not because we shot the ball well or we've executed great in our half-court sets. It's because of those numbers right there. We've been active in the passing lanes, and that, in turn, gets them out in transition easy. And the baseline take by Popovich results in a turnover. BC turned it over 27 times against South Florida on Sunday in a win, a game they dominated. But consider the fact they cut that down and by half, they would have won that game by 30 points. And Coach Christian talked about that point. He said, look, typically when you turn the ball over that much, you're going to lose. But because our defense was so active, we were so aggressive, we were able to get out, transition, and get some easy offense despite some of the turnovers. I think you're going to see a focal point of their defense today. Tenacious on the perimeter. Hopkins with a deep three and the fadeaway. 
Nick Hopkins off the Belmont bench. And he is a volume shooter, to say the least. I'll tell you what, not bad heads that time by Popovich, but that's just better offense he raised up. That's a contested deep three. He had 39% of his three-point attempts last season, the junior from Fayetteville, Tennessee. Here's Jared Hamilton for a three, and he nails it. Both teams, despite an early start, maybe, that's another issue we haven't talked about. The body clocks have to adjust to 2 o'clock starts Eastern time, and that's something that both teams might be facing early as Scanlon tries to jam it in, but the rebound for Popovich. Well, neither team showing any signs of sleeping it in right now. On fire early on, and beautiful slip that time by Popovich. Seth Adelsberger with a good block in the post, and Benkert in transition. So the Eagles and Belmont tied at 10 in our first timeout. And through the experiences of that and learning, you're able to go out and kind of evaluate guys a little bit differently over the years. So, you know, we've been blessed to find those guys, and obviously they've really helped the momentum and get us back to where Boston College basketball is relevant again. If I'm a recruit, I'm 6'8", imagine that, I can dunk. What's Scott Spinelli selling me to come to BC? Well, Boston College has a lot to offer. I think right now, the one thing that we've gained momentum in is the path of getting guys to the NBA. Um, if you were to ask 100 kids out there, you know, what would their goal be? Playing in the national title, getting to the NBA. 99 out of 100 are say they want to play in the NBA. So I think selling that right now, we've gotten two kids under the radar to the NBA. We think we have more here, um, that path. But, you know, Boston College, in terms of the academics, the campus, people here are tremendous the city of Boston um, and getting a degree from BC means a lot and I think that's a huge selling point for these kids do you ever sleep uh, you know I, we, the motto at home is when the coffin closes we sleep forever so uh, <laughs> sleep right now is uh, is not something on the on the on the agenda <laughs> Scott Spinelli instant energy <laughs> Oh, you got to like that line. That's well, kind of the Huckabee model, well, too, right? I, well, I'm not sure of any coaches in college basketball that are getting a lot of sleep right now, but uh, certainly he's done a phenomenal job. And I think, you know, one other point to it, it's one thing to find guys, but I think it's uh, to develop. And the two that you talked about, Jerome Robinson, Kai Bowman, both those guys playing for a paycheck right now, uh, they developed under this uh, staff. And I think that's the other key point as well, too. Mini 5-0 run pieced together by Belmont after a three-pointer from Michael Benkert. Benkert's been injury plagued throughout his career, but he is a shooter, much like the rest of this team. They are not afraid to launch the threes. They're three for three thus far. Good take by Derek Thornton and the blowback. Well, both teams will still continue to execute on the offensive side. And Stefan Mitchell with his steal took it away from Nip Hopkins, and he finds Thornton. It's kind of an excuse me pass, but Thornton was the beneficiary. And that's again going back to the little thing. Stefan Mitchell really so active in the passing lane, one of the better rebounders uh, in the ACC. And uh, that time coming up with a steal, and then they're able to get out in transition to get an easy bucket. BC shooting 67%, six out of the first nine. And the inside handle by Seth Adelsberger playing for the suspended Nick Musinski, who missed the shoot around after he overslept. Now, Adelsberger is a 4-0 student. He won the Ohio Valley Conference Medal of Honor for academic success. He's an environmental science major. And Jay Heath with the lay-in. Good angle down low by Heath. Body control for the freshman. Yeah, that's a tough move. And he is another find as we see a, another steal, this time by Thornton. And with the left hand, Derek Thornton, coast to coast. As you just saw moments ago, Nick Musinski getting set to check in. He was a freshman All-America, voted last year by Basketball Times. Nick Hopkins short on the three, and here comes Jay Heath with the board. Three on one. Mitchell with a take and an easy lay-in. That's 14 points in the paint for the Eagles to just two for Belmont, so they are feasting, and they take a three-point lead with 13-29 remaining in the half. Down low in the post, but then on the other side, Defensively, you saw the numbers close to three blocks per game. Uh, he is the anchor to their defense, and uh, they need his production not just on the offensive side, but defensively as well. Grayson Murphy gets in the paint, throws the ball away. 
looking for the cutting teammate who was not there, and it will be BC ball. That was Caleb Hollander on the baseline, and Murphy couldn't find him. Derek Thornton has been so composed in his first three-plus BC games since transferring from USC by way of Duke. Good pass for Popovich in the reverse lane. And that's a beautiful pass, all set up by Thornton and his leadership. Uh, speaking with Jim Christian this morning at shoot-around, uh, he said not just the points, uh, but his leadership and his ability to set the tone really has been key early on in the season. That's a way to stop the 8 to nothing BC run, a three-pointer from Adam Kunkel, who had a career-best 28 points against Sanford on Monday night. Well, he is on pace to have one of the biggest jumps a year and out. Uh, only averaged a little under three points per game last season and been on fire early for Belmont. How about the N1 for Grayson Murphy in transition? Well, we talked about it at the tip. The point guard play right here, Derek Thornton off a little screen. That's excellent execution, heads up play. And then this guy right here. If it wasn't for Ja Morant, uh, his name would have been talked about a lot more last year. He had an outstanding freshman season, one of the better point guards, not just in the OVC, but in the country. Uh, Grayson Murphy really love how he operates uh, for Belmont. He completes the three-point play after the foul was on Freshman C.J. Felder. And here's Kamari Williams, the son of former Maryland star Walt Williams. Nice move inside again by Popovich. And I talked to Casey Alexander before the game. He said, we really have got to be fortified in the post against him because Popovich has so many moves, an array of post moves. Well, he's another guy. Again, everybody talked about Zion last year, as they should, and all the other players in of the ACC. Nick Popovich was one of six players in the ACC to be in top 20 points per game, rebounds per game, and field goal percentage. Shot over 52% from the field floor. He had a great season last year for Boston College. Uh, really a underrated player in the ACC. Freshman Julian Rishwain off the mark with a three-pointer and the rebound for Adam Kunkel. Now Popovich has improved every year. Another Scott Spinelli find. BC's ace recruiter are in the spotlight segment today. And a steal for Rishway. Good back door for Popovich in the slam. A cerebral pass by Julian Rishway. And Musinski counters with his first two of the game. They're swapping baskets as Belmont with a little momentum, but how about Nick Popovich? Well, it's been a back and forth battle right here, though. The pick, the roll, and Popovich showing off the hops. Belmont up by one. Always a full slate of games on the ACC Network with Malcolm Huckabee. I'm John Mita Perel, our producer, Sean Jackson. Great to have you with us and hope you've enjoyed it thus far. Good start for both teams. BC's story has been Nick Popovich with 11, the rest of the team with 15 combined, but hot shooting on both sides. Barely both teams have executed. Right now, though, Belmont switches to a 2-3 matchup zone. Uh, really not much success slowing down the Boston College in transition and then in their half-court sets. I like to move uh, by Coach Alexander to go to that 2-3 matchup zone. Yeah, that was a nice adjustment, forcing the turnover. The third Eagles turnover on the backdoor pass by Scanlon to Michael Bankert. Tyler Scanlon, a cerebral player out of Centerville, Virginia. As we mentioned a few minutes ago, played for Joe Jones down the Com Ave at BU. And first player in BU history with, a, with 40, 400 points, 150 rebounds, 100 plus assists in a season. Derek Thornton launches a three and he nails it. How about Derek Thornton and his long distance dialing? And his point production, but I think that area right there, uh, that was the question mark on his game. Uh, can he be a consistent perimeter threat early on? He has shot the ball well uh, for Boston College. And the air ball by Bankert, the rebound for Stephon Mitchell. Off the hands of Jay Heath. Banker trying to capitalize. Oh, 
Both teams four out and one in, Malcolm. That's the offensive philosophy. And for Belmont, you have to be careful and mindful of the backdoor cuts. And a misfire by Kunkel. Here comes Thornton again. In the lane for Felder. And the bucket and a foul. The end one for C.J. Felder. Acrobatic style by C.J. Felder. He's 17 years old out of Sumter, South Carolina, one of the youngest players in college basketball, but you have to admire the pass. Yeah, that's a beautiful setup. That time, Thornton pushing the pace in transition. Nice little alley-oop pass, and I like the move by Felder. A lot of times, guys would have tried to force that pass up, didn't have a good angle catch the ball, come down with it, and use that strong body. He does not look like a freshman. The coaching staff of Boston College are really high on what he can be for this Boston College program. And Felder coming off a four-point night against High Point. We have an injury for the Eagles. Derek Thornton is hurt, grabbing his right ankle after the good three by the Bruins, and Thornton struggled against High Point with an ankle injury, he left the game. So problematic for Jim Christian, is Derek Thornton, clearly a vital performer for them. Yeah, I couldn't see, it was away from the ball, but he went down. And that's a good sign, him walking off, but certainly not a sign that you want to see him going to the locker room. 8.57 to go in the first half, and he was playing really well for Boston College. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. He just really, yeah, it, it looked like he stepped on a Belmont player's foot and just rolled his ankle. You could see it from that angle where he just rolled his ankle, and that one right there uh, did not look good. So it's up to Jay Heath now to man the point, and he traveled. So a dicey first possession for the Eagles without their star point guard, Derek Thornton, who has nine points and four assists. Yeah, and right here, you're going to take a look at where, yeah, he rolled that good. Just went out to deny, and nothing malicious there at all. Just stepped on uh, his foot, trying to make a play on a wing denial, and that's a tough break for Boston College. Not only are you losing his points per game, but I think the biggest thing, he provides that leadership. Yuzinski short. Chris Heron Jr. is in for the Eagles, wearing number 24 in white. Part of their backcourt stable off the bench. And Stephon Mitchell nice through the lane, but a foul. That's on Nick Musinski. His first. John, two things for Boston College right now. I think offensively, they need to continue to get the ball out in transition, but then when you're in your half-court sets, uh, get paint touches. Don't settle for jumpers. Uh, go down low. Popovich or Mitchell, let those guys go to work in the block. This move by Heath and the runner. And a foul on the Eagles. Jay Heath, the freshman from Washington, D.C., He's not playing like a freshman. He's playing more like a junior, but he will leave the game. As Julian Rishwain replaces him. Four-team foul on BC. Tight defense by Rishwain on Hopkins. And Ray Steins on the call. That's on Rishwain. Rishwain from Sherman Oaks, California, Los Angeles suburb. 20 points per game, six rebounds last year as a senior at Notre Dame High School. And a good find by Jim Christian and his staff. Well, he is, but right now, Nick Hopkins is uh, challenging him, went right at him in a one-on-one -on -one situation. And that's twice now. We've seen Hopkins be very aggressive driving the ball to the basket. And Hopkins has six points. As Belmont is shooting 65%. The Eagles are at 70%. Offensive showcase for both teams. Popovich for three. I think he's feeling it. <laughs> well, it's in rhythm. It's within their offensive set, and he's shown the ability to knock those down. Now, obviously, you don't want him falling in love with the three, but when he gets him in rhythm like that, he's able to knock him down, but Muzinski staying right back at you. 
I can do that too. Step out. That was a deep one. A poor pick and roll defense that time by Boston College. 6'11. Three three pointers from both of them. 